Hello, sports fans. Welcome to RVing with Luck. I'm Ralph Luck. And today, I'm going to be going over the uh, new power station I got a few weeks ago, now that I've tested it out. And that is the Blue Eddy EB3A. Now, I think I purchased mine through Walmart, but I'm going to put a link to the Amazon website. I'm not affiliated with them. It's just a place for you to go look up a lot of the details that I'm not going to go over here because this is just going to be a very preliminary gee whiz and why I bought it and so forth. Now, why I bought it is it had one thing my uh, other power station did not have. The other power station did not have a 12-volt cigarette plug, if you will, lighter output. And at a price of about $208, um, Walmart had free shipping. You know, of course, if you're with Amazon Prime, you get free shipping. Um, after tax and everything, I think it's like $220, $222. Um, but it was a great deal. It has two 110 outputs. That's your regular uh, house wall plug-in. It does only have two USB ports they're the standard i think usb a yes it has two usb a outputs and one usb c output it does have the top that does wireless charging and then you could uh, charge it don't hold me to this but i've been charging it via cigarette lighter 12 volt Although it says not to directly plug into the cigarette lighter, if I remember reading the owner's manual. So do your research before doing that. It didn't come with that. I was using my other Balder power station for the cigarette lighter. I currently have a very compact 60 watt solar panel. So I've charged it uh, pretty good on that. And typically, I just use it to, for the most part, here by my bed now, to uh, charge my phone. A couple of details on this is it does have a 600-watt capability. That's like the max output. And it is a little smaller than my Balder, as it's a 268-watt-hour battery. My Balder is like 287, I think but it only has a max output of 300 watts. So this has a little more capability for powering, again, up to 600 watts. Um, but Blue Eddy just makes a great product, and for a little over $200, I thought it was a great deal to get that extra feature. It does have one less USB-A output, but uh, typically the most I've ever used is two at one time anyway. So I'm going to give you uh, some of the pictures here. And again, check in the description for that Amazon site. I like what I see. Again, the only question that I have to reread is on that uh, charging by cigarette lighter that I believe said it said don't do. So here's taking a look at my, whoops, Blue Eddy. You can see on the bottom left, I'm charging it via a cigarette lighter. It's bringing in 14 watts. And I'm lifting up the 12-volt cigarette lighter output, which is the feature I really like on this one. Got a nice cover. Here's where you can charge it with the plug that came with it to uh, 110 It's got a light in the upper right, which is I'm not a big fan of, but I hardly use it anyway. And you can see it's pretty bright. Has a couple different brightnesses and a strobe feature there. And just getting a close-up of the nice display, showing I'm charging 59%. And at 14 watts, it'll take me 9.6 hours. But I'm also running, when I push that on, the USB charging my phone. 
There's the three USB outputs there. And here's the top wireless charging output, 15 watts, where I could just set my iPhone up there and let it charge away. And it's got this nice little handle up top that once I popped it up, real easy to carry, very lightweight, I think like 14 pounds, and the handle folds folds easily down. So thanks for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. I'm looking to grow. So Ninja and I bid you adieu.